Hi, I'm Jess. I uh, where that's random. Today we're missing Carrie. Uh, if you know us in real life, you know that she's going through some tough stuff right now. Her mom unexpectedly passed away just a couple days ago. So she is mourning as one would expect at this time. And um, so I'm doing a video solo today. So typically we would have a meme of the week. We'll get that later, no rush on that. Um, instead, I'm gonna do crafts with Jess for Carrie. So my thought was if I can um, do the things that I think that I can do, I'm gonna try, um, that'll be really sweet and significant for her and then she'll be, she'll love it. And it'll be something um, just as a, a nice little token of thinking of her and sending love and all of that kind of stuff. Um, and if it's Hot Mess Express, as could absolutely be, then, um, you know, I'll just throw it away and give her some gift cards for some food or something. But we're going to try. So I know that her mom um, loved cardinals. I know that that was something significant. Um, I also know cardinals are going to require some uh, uh, artistic ability. And I don't have full faith in me, but I'm going to try really hard. So I found a picture on the internet and I'm gonna try and follow that to get something kind of like a cardinal. Maybe we can use imagination here. And in the picture that I have, the cardinal is carrying a twig and my intention is to have the cardinal carrying a rose instead because that's the name of Carrie's mom. So here we go, let's see what happens, friends. Um, they started off with this, uh, I don't know, the froofy thing for its hair, because I don't know what it's called. Um, I also don't really know why, why I'm taking the time to sketch this out. You have seen my show before. You know that it doesn't actually help me do a better job, but we're trying, okay? We love our friend and we're trying. So, trying to make this look kind of like a cardinal body. Not really sure about the shape of the head here. Already, already having an, having an adventure, friends. Oh no. Um, apparently my cardinal is gonna have a different shape on one side of its body than the other. And you know what? She would think that was fine. So we're gonna roll with it. We're gonna see, we're gonna see how this goes. Maybe with paint. I can fix it, we don't know. We're gonna try. I think, I think there's potential here. I have some belief in me. Um, and they have like a tail going behind the branch. We're gonna try. All right. Um, and the face, what is happening with your face right here? So the challenge is that an actual artist drew what I'm using as a guide. Um, and it wasn't just somebody doing a tutorial for people like me. And yeah, that's fine. Everything's fine. What even is happening with its nose? I don't know. So as I sketch this, I'll just give you a little life update for me currently. Um, I had been teaching in a district in a different town for the last three years. I've been commuting uh, quite a while actually, like an hour and a half to get to and from work. And I had an apartment there um, so I wouldn't have to drive every day. I just drove a few times a week and now I've accepted a job in the same city where I live and I'm super excited about that. Um, it's gonna be a great situation for me. And also that means I get to actually be at my real house all the time. So I am feeling very blessed uh, for that. And I'm making all sorts of weird shapes that don't exist on a cardinal. Ooh. Anyway, um, so because I was moving back, um, or consolidating, putting two places to be one residence now. I have so much crap that I had to carry in. I got it all back in town, in my home. Um, and it was just 
piled in my garage and then I put it in my living room because I know that if I can just look away that um, I will ignore it and find other things that are more fun to do. And um, I did in fact do that. I know myself very well. And anyway, I'm trying to, so I put it all in the living room so I'd have to look at it so I could follow through, whatever. Anyway, I've been trying the last couple of days to actually get the job done, get it moved in where it needs to be. And um, I decided I could totally move this love seat that I had in the garage to my basement by myself. Like, it's not that big. It's not very heavy. I can totally do it. It turns out I was right. I did, I did do it. I was, I was a champ, but whoa, buddy. I took a beating in the process. Um, so my arms are like all bruised up. Like, I don't know that you can actually see what kind of banana I look like here, but I'm hot mess express up in here. Um, I managed to get it stuck a couple times. It was wedged in the door. So I have like two steps that go up. There's like this landing um, from the garage into the house, which actually gets you into the kitchen. And I managed to get it stuck there for a short matter of time. So I was going uh, out the front door to go around from the to the back of the garage, like the main entrance, to be able to push from one end. And then I would go back in the house and pull it from the kitchen side. And that was just quite quite the adventure actually. Um, but got it in, I was like, great, that's probably the hardest part of the whole time. Like, I'm probably gonna be good from there. And, you know, you can kind of just scoot it. It was fine on the floor, all was well. And then I had to get it down the stairs. And I have like a, a turn in the stairs. There's a landing before it goes the rest of the way. And um, I got it stuck again at the base of the landings, which is kind of like balanced from that top part of the stairs down. And I managed to um, climb up because I actually blocked myself in the basement by doing that. Um, but I was not very smart and I climbed the actual couch to get to the top of the staircase so I could work with it. If any of my friends were in my home while I was doing this, they would absolutely have been yelling at me and telling me that was a terrible idea and, you know, I shouldn't be doing that. I'm going to get hurt. And it's true. I, I did and it was. But I will tell you, I have it in the basement now and I've got that room set up and it looks really nice. So, yay. It all worked out. All was well. And I did it myself, so... Huzzah, victory. I also redid this room that I'm in right now. So I might look a little different. I'm not sure um, if the angle actually plays different in your view, but I redid this. So before it was just kind of cut in half and just a room full of random crap and not a lot of organization happening. And that has bothered me for quite a while, but like one o'clock last night, this morning, whatever you want to call it, I decided that was the time to organize and get the things done. So I added a bookcase, which I also carried down from the garage by myself and um, got the baskets. And so I've got our art supplies organized. So it'll be easy when we're recording and making fun things for y'all to watch. And yeah, it looks way better. It looks like somebody actually lives here and cares now. So that's positive. So far, so good on this cardinal. I basically just have a red blob with a pointy head. So, you know, I haven't ruined it yet. We're going to try and keep that going. <laughs> My home putting stuff together stuff. Um, I still need to really, I have to go through the pantry and get that taken care of. A lot of this stuff from the apartment was kitchen stuff. And right now it's still in my living room and kitchen, just, just looking tacky. So I really need to find it a spot where it can belong. Um, I just don't want to, if I'm being honest. It sounds like 
an overwhelming task and I'm not motiva motivated yet, but I will be. The more I look at it, the more it's going to bother me and I'll get it. Um, but anyway, I also need to go through my closet and get rid of stuff and organize that. My big goal is that if I could just go through every room, every section of my house and actually like deep clean it, because Lord knows it's been a while since I've deep cleaned, um, and just sort it and get it how I want it, that would be great. And then I can just get rid of stuff that I no longer need, give it to someone who does or sell it or something. And it'll feel like home. Also working on um, organizing things because my son is going to be a junior in high school this coming school year. So a lot of that stuff that I have duplicates of could absolutely go with him, you know, after he graduates for his dorm or apartment or whatever, whatever his life journey will be. Um, then we won't have to buy it later, you know, so trying to organize it in the home so it's not going to annoy me for two years, but that it'll be easy to get to when he needs it. So these are big tasks, friends. I need some motivation to do that. Okay, well, that kind of looks like a wing. It's it's kind of working, y'all. It's kind of working. Um, I'm going to need to go back in with some other shades and really make this look more realistic. Um, they put some orange and some black in there. don't really know how to make that look like it's going in front of. I think when I draw the stem, that will do it. We'll see. We shall see. I thought maybe if I got this red done first, I could go back in with the other colors and make it fabulous. Again, I don't know what a cardinal looks like up close and personal. I see them in passing. So I'm just trusting this picture that I printed in black and white. <laughs> oh, mercy. Okay, let's see here. We've got the basics going on here. I don't remember what these colors are. Feel like... That was kind of an orange that they added in. We're gonna try it. We're gonna let this play nice and let me create something over here. It doesn't like to stay on this little well that I have over it. I'm trying to like create a pool of color so I can control it. It doesn't want to stay there. Oh no. Well, I guess that beak wants to be a slightly different shape than I originally intended, but I think I can see it. Yeah, it's just going to get bigger in the process. It's fine. There we go. It's, it's working. It's doing some stuff. It's looking like a beak. I'll just need to Add another layer on top of that, I think, to richen it a little bit. Okay, so I'm trying to make a red orange so I can add that for some variety in his feathers. It's kind of happening. There's a little bit of something going on. Okay. Oh, I'm a little nervous about this because I don't want to ruin it. Oh, yeah, it's, it's working okay. Yeah, that actually did work. Okay, good. 
Now I don't know how much of this bird I should make this shade. Ooh. Usually we look at Carrie's phone to know, you know, for reminders when we can't remember anything anymore. Because I'm using mine for talking to y'all. So since my memory is garbage and I don't have that, we're just gonna we're just gonna be brave today. I'm just, I'm just gonna see what happens, I guess. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure what it's actually doing besides making it richer looking. So I'm not sure where I want it to be strategic. Also, I definitely just used the last of when I had mixed up. So the next part will be a different shade least for sure okay well heck I don't know friends also I'm gonna have to put some black in there and that scares me a little bit because I know me I'm scared What's going to happen if I, if it's going to run? Oh, oh that kind of looks like it's something. Okay. Things are happening. You've got to trust the process. You would think by now with all of the craft times we've done that I would know. I just have to trust the process. It's, it's all going to be fine. Cool. This tail feather is just kind of, I don't know, not great. Okay. I'm liking most of this right now. I'm needing to give his face attention and that is the part that's scary. Let's see. I add some of this in here. Is it going to be... A good choice? We don't know. We're going to find out. So it's kind of a wine color. And I thought maybe if I use that um, with a little bit of red mixed in, maybe that can be the darker section. Yeah, that's, that's nice. got kind of a wild hair out of it. That's fun. I kind of put some darker up here by his face. And hmm, kind of out by his eye over here. And kind of down like chest hair. <laughs> Giving my cardinal some chest hair. You know, Kiri would love that. That's perfect. There we go. Trying to blend it so it doesn't just look chunky. Put a little more over here on this wing. That's some. A little something, something over here. We'll see what happens. Okay. And just kind of around the edge, it looks like. So like his other wing a little bit. Or we're going to pretend he has another wing. In my cleaning and organizing process, I found I have way more brushes than I realized. So that's pretty fun. Um, and this one that I'm currently using, I don't think I've used before, but I like it better than the others, so that's nice. Happy little surprise there. Make his tail darker. How are we doing? what we have so far it kind of I mean 
It doesn't not look like it. Um, we're gonna let it dry and ignore that for a bit. So let's give him his little mask area here. Let's see what I can do with this. Um, I feel like I don't want it to be totally black because his eyes supposed to be black. And then they put something on it. I don't know. Well, let's see, friends, what happens. That's definitely gray. <laughs> we need more pigment in there. Maybe I could make his mask gray instead. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, I should have dried that first. And in my cleaning, I didn't leave. Let's fix it. Let's see. No thank you to that. Okay. Um, I want that to be less water and just more pigment. So, need my brush to play nice here. Let's try it again. There we go. There we go. Things are happening now. Our bird has an eye. Woo. Why can I not draw circles? Why is that an ongoing thing with us? I say with us because I know if my friend was here, she would also struggle with a circle. There we go. Yes, we got it. Woo. Now we've got to do something about this mask area. Hmm. What if we mix, let's create something new, friends, shall we? Let me think, I'm gonna go with like a, a grayish, like a dark gray maybe. Maybe put a little bit of red in there, I don't know. Does it, does a cardinal look like that? Probably not. It's my painting, I'm gonna do what I want. I feel like that's fine. Mixing process is not working right now. Good times. How do people mix their paints without, without getting it all over their palette like that? I don't get it. Because I just was dipping for color and now I've got that color, the previous one and the new one. And that wasn't what I was trying to do. Oh well. Well, I'm not sure how I feel. I don't think I've ruined it, so I've got that going for me. Okay, I need to dry his face so I can get more details. Okay. All right, I feel like I want just a little bit more pigment, part of that mask area. It just wasn't even. And I also want to give his beak some more attention. Hey, that's kind of cute. Except that part, that's not so cute. Okay, I don't hate that. Um, he does need, his eye needs a little more attention again. And that beak, we gotta have that beak. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe that was a good choice. We don't know. All we know is it's not a wrong choice. It's just, it's just something that happens. Ooh, I didn't mean to put some black in the beak, but it did happen and I like it. So I'm gonna dry this before I mess it up. <laughs> Okay, now I'm starting to scare myself because I want to have him carrying a rose. So I'm thinking I put the stem here 
going across like under his body and put like a little rose right here. Not confident I can do that. I'm just, I'm just going to try. I'm just going to see what happens. Um, but I'm looking at this and I'm wondering, should I outline it? Should I, should I use the fine tip marker and add some detail to it? That's what we often do. Is now the time to do that? I don't know. I don't know. 